Hello everyone. My name is Brian Boyer. I'm here today representing Hybon Engineering. This video explains the Hybon VOC calculator that you can download at www.hy-bon.com. The video will cover the calculation basis used, inputs required for the spreadsheet, outputs generated by the spreadsheet, and demo input of data into the spreadsheet. So the basis of a VOC calculator is the ideal gas law, which you could be simplified by saying one pound mole of an ideal gas occupies approximately 379.3 standard cubic feet at standard conditions of 60 degrees Fahrenheit and 14.7 pounds per square inch absolute PSIA. Using the volume of gas and gas components, the spreadsheet calculates the mass amount of total gas and the mass of each component. No Z or compressibility factors are used in the calculations. Data inputs required include volume of natural gas at standard conditions, 60 degrees Fahrenheit, 14.7 PSIA, and then the mole percent which is the same as the volume percent of each gas component. You're going to want to enter your own gas analysis, not the one that comes preloaded on the calculator when you download it. And enter data for the cells with blue color. And the mole percents for all the components should add up to 100%. The outputs are in terms of pounds and short tons, 2,000 pounds per short ton for the total natural gas stream, each component of the natural gas, provided you enter data for that component on the natural gas calculator, the VOC content, which is your volatile organic compounds, and volatile organic compounds are the non-methane, non-ethane hydrocarbons, and then your greenhouse gases, which includes methane and CO2. Also calculates the carbon dioxide equivalents, also called CO2E, in, and it uses U.S. customary units, short tons, pounds, and does not use the kilograms in metric tons. And also calculates the mass amount of the hazardous air pollutants, HAPs, provided you enter that, those mole percents for those components, and those components being normal hexane, benzene, toluene, ethylbenzene, xylenes, and 224 trimethylpentane. So let me demo entering data into the spreadsheet. Here's the spreadsheet. At the top there, you would enter the facility name in the sections in blue, company name, source ID, tank. So if there's a tank number two, we're going to enter it. Then you would enter the volume of gas, say 500,000. And then you would enter in the mole percents for the components. Now, it comes preloaded with some mole percents in there. You want to enter your own gas analysis. Note that they add up to 100%. Now, these cells in the mole percent in column C are coded as number percents in Excel. So if you have a number over one, one or greater, you can just enter the number 1.1, it goes and enters properly. But if it's a number less than one, a decimal, say 0.9, you would enter 0 0.9 to enter it properly, and it'll enter the right number. But if you put 0.9, it's going to assume that's 90%, since it's coded as a percent. So proper way to do it is the decimal number, 0 point, whatever that number is. So making sure everything adds up to 100% there. And if you'll notice, when you do the, enter the data, you're going to get total pounds of the whole gas stream in pounds and in tons. And in columns G and H, you have the pounds and tons per year of each of the components that you entered data for on the mole percents. Notice that we're going to four decimals on mole percent. And we're calculating now to three decimals in the pounds and tons per year. 
at the bottom right here, columns G and H, you have your totals for VOC, and that's rows 32 through 36. Total VOC, total HAPS, total VOC with no HAPS, total greenhouse gases and mass amount, and then the total CO2 E. And on the left here at the bottom, on rows 37 through 43, we have the equations that are used to generate those data. So that concludes the demo of the spreadsheet. Call Highbind for your all gas, vent gas management solutions. And you can download the spreadsheet from www.hy-bon.com. Thank you.